do I live to, to aggravate Donna? <laughs> yeah, he's definitely not going to see this, but uh, I like to think, you know, somewhere he's, he's going sleepless knowing that uh, someone has created a Minecraft world called Lemonland. At a certain point, we're going to have to grow some some trees so that we can have apples because you know there are no doctors in this uh, in this world here so uh, an apple a day keeps the doctor away thus uh, you know we'll, we'll get apples we'll create a sustainable orchard and eat an apple a day here I think that should be uh, well Obviously, challenge one is getting this this farm set up, but part of the farm will be a pretty darn awesome orchard. But, uh, yeah, we'll do that eventually. And continue to cut grass here, get some more seeds. The thing is, is that I always spend so much time, like this is, what, day four already? And uh, I spend just so much time smacking this grass seeds when eventually I'm just going to be rolling in seeds like I won't have enough farm space to, to put all the seeds in I can turn all the lakes around here into farms I did that with one of my uh, one of the worlds that I was working on the PC and it was pretty good like I turned some, basically a giant lake into of wheat farm but I'm also partial to like really cool buildings that uh, house farms like there's another world I made that uh, basically just had this uh, I think I made it said it was like 150 by 150 blocks and it had uh, several floors most of which were dedicated to wheat but uh, other ones were dedicated to potatoes carrots built one that was dedicated to sugarcane and that sort of stuff. So, you know, like anything that you could really need to plant. That's a horse! Horse! <laughs> I'm trying to ride it. I'm trying to ride it. He's saying no. He's saying no, but... Oh! Oh. <laughs> <All right. laughs> oh. I think he needs to get apples or something or turn sugar cane into sugar cube the horse will be happy but, uh, yeah, you know I'll come back for you later so yeah my usual here I want nice even numbers though so I'm only gonna hit as much grass as I can get a full stack uh, So we'll, uh, we'll hoe some more land here. And the other thing is, is once we get wheat here, we can start breeding the animals and we can actually start using them for their meat here. Looks like the farm is doing what it's doing what it's doing so far. It's doing good. I'm going to have to build another hoe here. It's so close to dark. Eh, eh, must be perfect. Must be. Must be. Okay. Well, you know what? Make the root cellar a little bigger here. Get some more stone. So I can make stone hose. Oh, yeah. Get a 
one. We'll probably get a achievements here too for making a stone hoe, getting an upgrade. No, <laughs> probably because I already got the achievement in another world. But uh, yeah. Oh, I can't even run anymore. So I'm so hungry. I want this farm to be perfect before. Oh yeah, this stone hoe going to work. Hoeing all over the place. Resist the urge to break it with a hoe. So I think one of my one of my challenges should be once I get the orchard up and running, apple a day. I think that'd be pretty sweet. It'd be hilarious. Mm. Oh. I hit you! I hit you! Oh, there you go. I only had to jump on it once and call it a mean name, and it crumbled back into obscurity. <laughs> oh, maybe I should plant some shit and then go to sleep. Yeah, the sun's still up. I got time to plant stuff. Plant, 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 plant. Yeah, this thing's getting big enough now, though, that it's going to, like, attract attention of monsters and other wildlife. They'll probably want to step all over it. So, uh... Whatever. So, oh. damn it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, shoot. Shoot. Oh, oh. Yeah. There we go. <laughs> I want to harvest the wheat that's already good, not the ones that are not good. Yeah. I think that's pretty much it. And now I've just got a plethora of. Seeds. Oh my gosh. Oh. oh. <laughs> Can't be perfect. Looks like the sun is going down. You know what? We'll go back to the back to the hideout here because I know I can't run. And we're gonna have a nice uh, meat and bread party before we go to sleep here. Make some food. Oh yes. Look at that bread. We'll cook up some meat. Got that raw mutton there. Ooh. 45. Bugs me so bad. Uneven numbers. Oh. You know what? That should be. that. Ah! <laughs> Got our, our balanced meal there. Now that we've had our, our dinner, we can go to sleep. <sighs> Wake up and uh, continue farming. This is the life here. Oh yeah. Oh. Yes, yeah, so we should have got, look at that, we got so many seeds from harvesting that, uh, that section there. Like, it's, it's so darn sustainable to build a farm, that's why I always want to do it so early. Oh my gosh, that sounded close. There's probably, like... A hole or a tunnel or the one up here probably travels sort of down to here. I 
don't know. Eventually, I'm going to have to put a fence around this just to sort of protect me while I'm planting stuff. KGB is everywhere. Yes. If anything has taught us anything, KGB is always everywhere. Including Ukraine right now. Oh, oh I was like, seriously? <laughs> couldn't couldn't uh, do the whole thing there? Oh, and I hit the seeds as well. Oh, not bad. All right. Well, maybe I'll, like, fell a tree or something. I only have one axe. That way I can make some fence. Now I'm a little bit more confident that, you know, running around, I've got renewable food source, which is good. So I'm not too worried about that. I think I'll just make a, a stone axe now. That'll work. Oh, out the door. I'll fell another one of these big trees here. Maybe a couple of them. You know? You're, you're in the way of progress here, nature. You're gonna you're gonna be taken down. Here we go. Take a take a tree down. I don't know. That's why I like these big ones. It seems it's always such a task to take down the big trees. But uh, you know, when you take them down, you feel so darn accomplished. It's like holy cow, where did all this wood come from? And it'll really brighten up the area here. Sound of me taking a swipe and missing. It's just setting me off. Oh, I hate it. it. Makes me feel like, and I haven't seen any enemies yet either, but I can hear them all. It's like I'm just waiting for my first, uh, my first encounter here. So obviously we've got some some short-term goals here, but uh, you know what about what about long-term goals? What do we want to ultimately get to with this series? And I don't know things we want to build, certain things we want to do. Ultimately, I think with uh, with any human being, the search is for meaning. <laughs> I'm reading a uh, a book by Jordan Peterson currently. Uh, not his, not his first one, but, uh, I think it's, it might just be his second one, uh, 12 Rules for Life, uh, Antidote to Chaos, and it talks a lot about, uh, you know, like, as human beings, we're not, we're not meant to always be happy, we're not meant to always have happiness, uh, life is so much more than just being happy all the time, and, you shouldn't live to be happy. You should live to be fulfilled, live for balance, that sort of thing. And uh, sort of like uh, if you've ever seen the symbol for yin and yang and how uh, well, and how uh, it's got the the two sort of interwoven snakes and... Oh, seriously? It's got the two interwoven snakes, and uh, there's the white snake with a black eye, and the black snake with a white eye. 
And the meaning of that is sort of, you know, there's uh, the white snake is chaos and the black snake is order. And you can't have one without the other. They're always in balance, but they're also always in contention and sort of opposing each other. But there's always a little bit of chaos within order, with the, which is the, the white eye and the black snake. And then there's the, uh, the order within the chaos. So they're, they're continuously balancing each other out. And, yeah. So <laughs> bottom line is we are, we are searching for meaning. And don't just do things to be happy. You know, like, life is not about happiness entirely. Life is about balance and having, you know, enough chaos, enough uh, sort of sadness as well is, is essential to, to living a fulfilled life. So, yeah. Bottom line, we're searching for meaning. <laughs> how about in this series? How, how deep is that? So uh, as a part of our search for meaning, I think we should also, like humanity has done forever, we should also go off in search of a higher power. So I think our, our major end goal here is to build sort of, <laughs> I guess we'll, we'll build the, the Tower of Babel. Let's <laughs> stay here. And uh, so by the end of the series, I think our our end points, the, the point where I'll be like, you know what, we've we've achieved what we can. Oh zombie <laughs> Did you see that? Oh my gosh. Uh okay. But yeah, so you know our, our end point, we'll know we've achieved our end point once we've reached the top of the world and essentially we'll either reach our higher power or uh you know we'll see we'll see what's up there or uh we might just die in this dark forest killed by a zombie you know there's a wood sword you gotta be i hear another one i think maybe no so that's what i mean about this damn dark forest i think it's a things can't like climb into the Pen here. Oh, I just hate how that looks. Like I'm for real considering just building a wall. <laughs> uh, I've just found realization. <laughs> We as humans build up walls because we hate things. <laughs> In the true spirit of Lemonland, I think also we will we will need to build some sort of border wall. <laughs> so that's uh, uh well we'll make a to do list. <laughs> so in, in subsequent. Uh, Subsequent episodes, you know, once we get on our feet, we're, we're going to build a Tower of Babel. That's our, our main goal, is to build a tower that uh, will reach up to the heavens here. And uh, <laughs> we'll, we'll build a lovely border wall. Because, you know, that's, that's just how it's done. And, uh, you know, I live to, to aggravate Don Lennon. <laughs> Yeah, he's definitely not going to see this, but uh, I like to think, you know, somewhere he's he's going sleepless knowing that uh, someone has created a Minecraft world called Lemonland, and it basically serves just to sort of make fun of him here. So, yeah, let's see him. We'll go to sleep. kill yesterday. This must be like day five or something like that. 
I don't know. I've lost. I've lost track. It's probably day five. I don't know. Honestly, at a certain point, it all just sort of blurs together. You don't really, like, truly know what's going on. But yeah, our farm is doing really darn amazing. Pretty proud of this thing here. You know what? One thing I think that we'll need is uh, just some more dirt. We'll get lots of dirt here just to extend the farm into the lake a little bit more here. If I could turn this whole lake into, into farmland, that'd be sweet. But uh, I think it's getting about time that we uh, do some adventuring here. We'll venture out, you know, early morning. Uh, just sort of pick a direction. I don't know how we'll pick a direction. Everything here looks pretty cool. Looks like there's an even bigger mountain off in the distance there. But, uh, you know, oh, well, there's one there too. Maybe I'll just like spin around really fast or uh, close my eyes or something and then the direction that I point, I'll just go to that. Okay. So we are going, <laughs> we will not be going one of the four cardinal directions. We will be going, uh, at least in relation to where my door is down here, uh, we will be going northwest. <laughs> oh shit! I did not even see that before. Screw going northwest. 